Hi, this is Kerry Campbell. Uh, thanks for joining our program today, Don. Tell us why you're running for uh, mayor of Oakland, California, as a Green Party candidate. Oh, wow. Um, this call comes as a surprise. I am running mostly because I care about the crisis in Oakland youth. Can uh, I elaborate? Yes, yeah. please do. There's, uh, we have a triple crisis in Oakland youth. It's jobs, crime, and schools. Uh, we have plenty of crime, and we've got a revolving door between the uh, criminal justice system and its lack of reform and the per failed parolee system. We have a lack of jobs and opportunities for our youth, and we don't have schools that are up to the measure. Schools are not providing training. They're not good places to go. We're losing a large number of our kids. A lot of them are truant. A lot of them drop out. A lot of them don't pass. And I kind of add that up to youth needs attention here in Oakland. Uh, with us now, Don, is uh, Captain Ron Fisher. He's the independent Green candidate running for Congress uh, in the 8th Congressional District. He wants to ask you a question. Uh, well, I was going to uh, thank you very much for your work out there. I was going to ask you to, to take a look at my, uh, some suggestions on wethepeoplenow.org. I was in the Navy 30 years. We need to cut that military industrial complex by about 90%, which would provide $900 billion for you. And, the, and so I've, I would like to work with you on a couple of things, too. I have a website. Oh, you don't get any complaint from me on that one. Okay. I mean, and, uh, right, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're, be... we're sitting here in California. We're spending, as of yesterday, the governor's going to spend another $7 billion on prisoners and only plus $50 million on reform. That's less than right. we <laughs> Yeah, I, I never... we have, I don't know how many military bases around here. We put airports on boats, but we don't seem to be able to put benches in parks. Right. <laughs> and I bet we both would agree those kids... The reason they're, they're the way they are is their opportunities weren't the same. At least I know about me. I had fantastic parents, and my dad had a steady job. So we've got to give all those people jobs. And I've got this outlined on, the, in a, in a, on my website. It's we yeah, the people. jobs that are not in Iraq. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Good for you. Now I've got I've got a, a the website there has a has a has a sheet on it, it's, but it's we the people now dot o r g. And I'd love for you to look at that. It's got my phone number there, Ron Fisher. And the other one well, thanks is... thanks for calling. I'll, I'll definitely look at that. And one other website uh, is Humane Justice, H-U-M-A-N-E Justice, dot mm -hmm. O-R-G. And it pretty well explains there's very little difference in these supposed criminals. I don't believe there is such a thing. And me... Uh, and I think every, all of us are born about the same, and we just go down different paths. And uh, it's, it's so I appreciate you, you looking at that and you giving me some comments on it. Uh, Don, yeah, well, you know, I, I'm one of those people. I've got a 20 year old son, and I, I'm a Caucasian, and my son is a is a white uh, Latino. And when he gets in trouble, the way he's treated is wide different than when black youth here at Oakland gets in trouble. And we have, we have another problem there. It isn't just that our resources are going in the wrong direction, but also what we do to bring people back into society when they're straight one step is very different depending on how much money your parents have. Absolutely, absolutely. And, uh, uh, and there's plenty of money to give those people jobs and, and give them the opportunities that I've had. I was in the Navy 30 uh, oh, years. Yeah. In the, but, uh, and I have four we, we sons. Could, we could cut our military budget by half, have the strongest military in the world, and have enough money left over for national health and universal education and a few other things besides. Right. And there's some other sources of money. That, like the money we've given those banks, we ought to recoup several trillion of that. And, and Either that or we put some uh, strings attached to it. And I, I don't understand giving the banks all that money. And then you don't tell them, well, hey, how about we're going to set the interest rate for right. credit cards? Absolutely. For how about we're going to set the terms for foreclosure, right? How about we're going to tell you to take these things out of their bundled securities and give them back to your local branches? Don, that, you know, I think for a trillion dollars, we might be able to tell them that. 
the moratorium, possible moratorium on foreclosures right now is in the news, Don. Uh, how would that affect uh, your race there where you're running for mayor as the Green Party candidate in Oakland? It would be some temporary relief for some of the people of Oakland. Um, if it doesn't translate into a moratorium based on some kind of a policy designed on helping keeping working people in their homes, it's only going to be a short-term thing. As far as my race is concerned, uh, we're sitting here telling the people of Oakland that they have a right to housing, not just a privilege or some kind of investment opportunity, but a right to housing. And we're trying to get all the big money out of the system as much as we can. Don, thank you so much for coming on the show today. We're all looking at your website here in that great picture of you and your mom and dad, and I guess that's your brother? Yeah, he, he's a 48-year-old <laughs> refrigeration technician today. Well, well happy birthday to him. And uh, we're going to shift on now to a Green Party candidate in uh, uh, Simon Ribeiro in, it looks like, uh, Connecticut, I guess. All right, well, Don, thank you so much for coming on. Good luck out there. Have a good day, gentlemen. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.